Now, our world is made up of different cultures, different languages, traditions and norms. Or is it? Well, a new book, In Search of Africa, Africas, looks at the idea of universalism, at just how much we are the same and how we should highlight that, or indeed concentrate on our potential differences, and what role colonialism and its legacy plays on all of that. To give us his perspective, uh, we're joined by one of the authors, or should I say arguers, of this new book, Mr. Jean-Luc Ancel. Thanks for your time. Now, you're a French anthropologist, yes. and you've written a book with a Senegalese philosopher. And let me just start with the title of the book, In Search of Africa yeah. or Africas, with an S in brackets. What's this all about? Yes, we differ, uh, Suleiman Bashirian and, and myself, on our uh, conception of uh, Africa, uh, because he, he believes that uh, uh, there is uh, one Africa, uh, one uh, African uh, continent. With, this, with a common identity across with all common the countries. Identity, and I believe that there are several uh, multiplicity of uh, Africas. Uh, because there are several uh, dozens of uh, countries uh, which, uh, with different cultures, with different uh, political systems. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's one of our uh, points of uh, Discord, disagreement. and there are many. Yeah, but um, there are many. Because yes. even at that, you see the, the variety in yes. all the different African countries. He sees what mm. brings them together. At the same time, I get the impression that it's Bashar Diang that values all the differences and, and yes. you know says that we got to highlight those you on the other hand think no 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 let's tone it down and see what we have in common yes because he, he has got uh, Suleiman Bashan has got a pan pan africanist uh, uh, bent and uh, on, on which he, he, he labels it uh, as a desire of, uh, of, of Africa and uh, on the contrary I think it uh, because he's a philosopher of difference. He stresses the, the importance of difference. And as I, I stress, as I am French, <laughs> <laughs> the importance of universalism. I mean, the commonalities, as, uh, as uh, the English-speaking uh, uh, academics say, uh, I stress the importance of commonalities between, between cultures. Uh, and, and similarities, re resemblances b between uh, cultures, between, for instance, West, Western what we all cultures. Have in common, which we all have. Uh, yes, because we all belong to the same uh, humanity. And we can compare uh, uh, Western culture and uh, African cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, or Western cultures and African... Uh, I mean, there's a root that we all share, there's a common denominator. Yes. But at the same time, is it not good to look at everything that we have different uh, over the years, over our, our shared history, over colonialism? Mm. You, you know, you talk about decolonial uh, thought. You know, does that not bring a richness? And how indeed does decolonial thought change things? And first, maybe start with explaining yeah. what decolonial thought actually is. So I think there's a, a, a strong difference between post-colonialism on the... On, on, on the one end and uh, decolonialism on the other end, because uh, decolonialism is it's it's a very uh, new trend of uh, ideas, because uh, de decolonial thinkers assume that the uh, history of capitalism begin in uh, 1492 mm -hmm. uh, with the the expulsion of uh, Jews and uh, Muslims from uh, from Spain, and uh, the discovery or invasions of uh, Americas. And uh, so they it, stress the importance of racism uh, with regard to the emergence of uh, cap capitalism instead of industrial uh, revolution, uh, for instance, in Marx, uh, Marx works. So it, it's, so, so it, it stress the importance of uh, racism instead of exploitation. Mm -hmm. it's, for, for them, oppression is more important than uh, exploitation. It's, and it's linked also to the concept of uh, intersectionality, mm. which raises the importance of, uh, of uh, gender, of uh, race. And, uh, so if you like, at the origin of the world, we perhaps were very similar. Mm. But today, do you not accept that with all our different histories and yes. the way we had colonizers and the colonized, mm. that today, in, in fairness, nationalities, we are ultimately very different? Yes, we are, we are different, but also, as an anthropologist, I, I, I think it's, it's better to, to, uh, to look for uh, first uh, commonalities, uh, resemblances and, uh, and uh, similarities. Why, and is that then, safer? Or? Yes, because uh, if, if, we, if we intend to, to fight against racism, it's more important to, to look for uh, similarities and resemblances and commonalities and stress the importance of difference. 
I think we are dying. Uh, we, are, we are we are dying with uh, because of uh, uh, because we stress too too much. We stress too much differences. At, at the minute, it, it, it seems that we're doing that to an increasing extent. Uh, notably here in Europe, we have yes, the extreme with right eth wing. with ethno nationalism, such as in in, in Hungary, in, in Austria. Why do you think we're swinging back to that, you know, focus on... on because, because I think uh, since uh, 1968, uh, we assist to, to the demise of uh, universalism, especially Marxism and class struggle. And uh, instead, uh, uh, we, we, it's obvious that uh, the ethno-nationalist discourse is replacing the old uh, universalist discourse on the class struggle. Is there not something, though, innate normally, even in the human, across the world, this is mm. something universally yeah. applicable to everyone, that there is this search nearly for su superiority? Yes, for so superiority, but for, for, for superiority uh, uh, of, of the white over... Uh, is, it still, or is it still mostly in that direction, though, or is that not changing? No, it's... Uh, it, uh, it's in the direction of ethno-nationalism all over the world, I think. Yeah, because that's even your argument between this universalism is whether it's a, a universalism dominated by Europe or whether we need to maybe broaden no, that. No, I think it's, uh, it's possible to, be, uh, you, uh, to have a universalist stance without, uh, uh, without, without dominating, without, uh, dominating uh, from, uh, from Europe, without... Uh, uh, be yes. accused of uh, uh, the, uh, European uh, domination of the rest yeah, of the world. Global. You know, so global. if I understand it correctly, uh, this universal thought is that we're all different, but equally different. Yes, equally different. Yes. And now there's one example given by your colleague, Suleiman Bashir Dian, mm. and he and this is quite easy maybe for us to relate to, it's language. And he says, yes, yes we all have different languages, mm -hmm. but when, and there might be a dominant one, it might perhaps be my native language that tends to dominate a lot of discussions, uh, but when we bring them to that translation process, we treat all language mm -hmm. equally when we're translating it. That speaks to me, and I think that's quite clear, um, but I believe you, your argument is that there are no languages. There are no languages. Languages d d don't exist. Languages uh, don't exist. What do you mean by that? Be because... Uh, Every, every, everybody, every singular individual creates his own uh, language. For instance, uh, French language uh, is made from uh, uh, English language now, uh, 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 Arabic language, yeah, the, no, uh, African the languages. closer to the border, you yes, can tell they, they mix. It's linked to globalization, okay. of course. And so there are no different uh, separate, uh, distinct uh, languages. Borders discrete, anymore. Discrete, discrete. And do you think that that's where we're going globally? Yes. More and more with all elements of our life? Yes, Are we with, especially the melting with, with, with globish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been accused of speaking of fronglish myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're already out of time, but it's been a real eye-opener. And thank you so much for coming in and telling us a bit more, Mr. Jean-Luc Amsel, a co-author, co-arguer, if you read the book, uh, with the philosopher Suleiman Bashar Dian, In Search of Africa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that wraps it up for Perspective.